Bumble them with a the cliche O. <laughs> good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, good morning anyway. Uh, my name is Suri Bambura Kamura. Good days in Sierra Leone uh, this past year. And it is through the assistance of the Minister of Trade, Mr. Uh, Alleman Corona, and uh, giving us the opportunity to take, to take Sing Bay's boat home, because that's how Amistad is referred to in Sierra Leone, because it was Sing Bay's boat. He took it and ultimately got home. We found so much about Sierra Leone that was so, so important. It is a nation in transition. It is a nation that is on the road to the direction of recovery. It is a nation that has something unusual, unfortunately, in West Africa. A change of government without bloodshed. Without people on vacation. Translate this experience of our dealings of freedom into a positive intercultural and political view of our two sister states, i.e., the state of Connecticut and that of Sierra Leone. We must try to build upon the heroic historic connection and strive to forge a valuable economic and social tie. We must borrow a little from the book of Kim Barai whose people in the diaspora have established and keep their 
Let the history of our compatriots, Saint Pierre and his followers, serve as an inspiration to us to look at the city and accept the head as a symbolic home, indeed an extension of the city of Freetown in the diaspora. Let me remind you that the Saint Pierre's compatriots are living amongst us here, amongst you here in New Haven. The girls are our brothers and sisters. The research carried out by anthropologists has given credence to some of these claims. A 72 year old girl or woman, Mrs. Mary Moran, could still sing many funeral songs passed on to her from grandmother to grandmother over a period of 200 years. We therefore appeal to all those who are living in New Haven to try to trace their roots to where we come from, sweet serenade. We will continue to move forward to more homecomings from Port Pedro and those older descendants of our people living here in New Haven in particular and the USA in general. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I will remiss in my duty if I fail to pay glowing tribute to all members of the Anistat Committee including Mrs. Joshua Lee, the Reverend Simeon Justin, and Mrs. Lewis Captain, all of us in who worked tirelessly to secure the release of people like Senator Pierre, whom we now own. American New York Sun had this to report about people. Like us, the evinces no emotion talking about Senator Pierre. And had we lived in the days of these who had practiced those most sublime of all values, disinterested patriotism and unstinting power. Ladies and gentlemen, the political link and economic link has been